As with just about everything in Adobe Photoshop, you have more than one way to do it. For example, in the last segment, we explored the cropping tool. You can crop in more than one way. For example, we can come over here, not use the cropping tool, but actually go to, say, our rectangular marquee tool. Select it. Come over here and draw a rectangle defining the area that you want cropped like that. Once you've got it, if it's not exactly what you want, of course we can move it around, but you can go up to the word select on the pull down menu and go down to transform selection. Once that's done, you can basically come over here and transform the selection any way you want without changing what's inside of it. You like what you see, double click right in here. Now you're back to a selection. With the selection in exactly the spot that you want, go up to the word image on the pull down menu and go down to crop. And you've successfully cropped out an area. The difference is, remember, the cropping tool gives you the ability to change resolutions and a lot of other things that are not available here. But if it's a down and dirty, quick way, you need a rectangular selection, easy way to do it. I want to show you one more way here, though. I call this non destructive cropping. Understand no matter which way you crop, you are changing the image. If we save it and come back tomorrow, that boat sailed. You'll never be able to bring it back. Let's say, for example, you want to crop an area out of this image. You want to move that area into another image, and you might change your mind on exactly what's cropped once you get there. I would call this non-destructive cropping. Pick up your rectangular marquee tool again and draw yourself the area that you want cropped out. Put it right where you want it to be. Come over to your Layers palette. Let me bring that over here. In your Layers palette, select the layer that contains the image with the selection where it's supposed to be and click this button right here. We're going to talk about layer masks in much more detail later, but click that button. What you've done in a sense is you have made all areas outside the selection transparent which is like a non-destructive crop. Let's say tomorrow you save this, and tomorrow you come back and you move this one into another image, but now you don't like the exact crop. What you can do, this little button right here links the mask to the image. Click that button to turn it off. Now they're independent objects. Click once here, select the image, pick up your Move tool up here, and if I come over here, I can now relocate because I still have, in a sense, the other stuff. Maybe I want something that looks a little bit more like that. Non-destructive cropping. Eventually, you might decide, this is what I want. I don't need to move it around anymore, and I'm saving a lot of information that I no longer need. All you have to do is right-click right on that mask and tell the computer you want to apply it. Now what you have is just that cropped out area.